Hello students, welcome to new problem of Math Olympiad. You can see a series of square roots of x there and some combination of multiplication and addition we are getting 10. In this equation we have to find the value of x. Maybe initially we feel that it is a little tricky or lengthy, but it is not that so. This is little easy problem I can say only thing is that we have to make a substitution to make it simple. So, what we do here we will start with the given equation given equation is root x times root x times root x plus root x equals to 10. So, now what we are doing that suppose we are putting that put root x equals to p you can take any alphabet m n y other than x you have to consider. So, I have taken p. So, wherever there is root x now I am putting p. So, this will be p times p times p plus p equals to 10 very simple. Now, you can feel that this is little easy one because now there is no square root in this problem. So, we will simplify this equation and then in the last we will again resubstitute in place of p as root x. Okay. So, when we multiply p, p and p, so we will get p q we all know this and what I am doing here for 10 I can write uh, in a combination of 8 plus 2, but why I am choosing only 8 plus 2. So, there is a logic that if I am seeing here cube of p and there is power of p is 1. So, here I can see that I can write this 8 as 2 cube and this is 2 to the power 1. So, somewhere there is some similarity in the format of p and 2. So, in that is why we have converted 10 into 8 and 2. After doing so, we are going to shift these constants to the left side. So, this will be uh, I am writing cubes together and power 1 together. So, this is p cube minus 2 cube and p minus 2 equals to 0. So, what is happening here? the first bracket is actually the cubic formula we have to apply a cube minus b cube and this is a linear um, um, term which we will keep right now as it is. So, before applying the formula we will write the formula what is the formula standard a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Now, in our problem what will be a in place of a actually we are going to put p and in place of b it will be 2. Okay. So, coming back to the previous step here we are applying the formula and we are going to put p, plus, p minus 2 as it is. So, I am writing here p minus 2 as it is no change and in p cube minus 2 cube we are applying this formula. So, a minus b will be p minus 2 a square means p square, a b means 2 p plus b square, 2 square is what 4. So, in this way in p cube minus 2 cube we have applied this formula. Now, I can see that here p minus 2 and p minus 2 is common, I can take out common. So, p minus 2 is common outside. So, what is remaining then? Remaining term is this bracket p square plus 2 p plus 4 and p minus 2 gone outside what is left there nothing means there is actually into 1. So, 1 is left inside p minus 2 is again like that and this is p square plus 2 p 4 plus 1 will be 5 constant 5 equals to 0. In this equation we can see that 2 bracket product is, is equals to 0. So, yes we can equate them individually as 0. So, 1 will be p minus 2 equals to 0 and other we are going to have p square plus 2 p plus 5 equals to 0. You can check here it is the same we are just equating them separately with 0. So, for this side uh, if I shuffle the term I will get one value of p as p equals to 2. But here on the right side uh, this is a quadratic expression and for quadratic e expression uh, we can compare it with standard form a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0. 
So, here in place of x actually in our problem it is p and constant we cannot see anything here means a is 1, b is 2 and c is 5. We will see whether we are going to have a, a positive discriminant or not. So, what we are doing here we are solving b square minus 4 a c. What is b? b is 2. So, 2 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 5. So, what is this 2 square minus 4 times 5 is 20. I am getting negative 16 which is uh, less than 0 value. So, it means that for this equation p square plus 2 p plus 5 equals to 0, I will get no real roots no real roots are there for this equation. So, this value is rejected and this value we are going to select, but what we substituted initially? We substituted initially p is actually root x. So, what we are going to do here now? You are going to put root x in place of this p. So, this will be root x equals to 2 if I want value of x what we will do? Yes, you are thinking correct it will be root x square equals to 2 square. So, square and square root will get cancelled. So, this will be x equals to 2 square is 4. So, what is the value we have obtained for x? It will be 4. So, actually this is the answer, but before declaring what we will do here? We will just uh, verify this whether it is correct for our given equation or not only verification process is left. So, I am sure that uh, you must have found out this example very easy and uh, if you have any other methods to solve. So, you can post me in the comments definition definitely I am going to check them. Okay. Uh, so, given equation is root x times root x times root x plus root x equals to 10. So, ultimately uh, when you when we saw left side we should obtain 10 then only it will be verified. So, what value of x we have obtained here? It is 4. So, let us substitute wherever there is x we are putting root 4 root 4 root 4 plus root 4 equals to 10. So, this will be root 4 is what 2 into 2 into 2 plus 2 and here when we multiply 2, 3 times it will be 8. Many of the students must be thinking that uh, why we have done such a lengthy procedure. Um, initially by plug in method we could have predicted that root is 4. Yes, you are correct, but when there are 4 marks, uh, 4 marks, 5 marks problems in that case we have to show the working of the problem. So, this is for that purpose. So, thank you so much for your time. Please, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and all the feedbacks are welcome. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.